All right, so somebody in my IRC channel, Sven Starro, actually sent me a link to this website. It's live.linuxgamers.net. And on this site, you'll see we've got a couple of screenshots of a live DVD where you can just boot and play whatever games you want that come pre-installed on this disc. So here we've got some features. If we look at the games list, this is the list of games that are available. Everything from here, well, everything from here up is actually available on the small edition. Everything that's underlined at the bottom is on the large, the big edition. There are two different discs you can get. So if I go to download here, you'll see we've got this 0.9.6 edition, all these different ways that you can get it. If we go into the team information, the old team had a bunch of guys on it doing a lot of work. The new team is this one guy who's doing everything. And uh, it, it appears that it's working pretty well. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at it just to let you know what's going on. You see here it has detected the graphics card, couldn't figure it out what it was. But on a normal system you would choose between NVIDIA or ATI or Open if you had an Intel driver. So I'm on a VM virtual box, I'm going to choose Open Driver. And there we go. Very quickly, I am in this live disk. You see here's some information, just lets you know what you can do. If I hit OK, I can right click. There's all of these games that you can run. The release notes that'll tell you what's going on with it. Here we go. Just takes you to an HTML document with the release notes and known issues. Some games do go out of range. I did notice that. Issues with Intel and ATI graphics. That's to be expected if you're doing 3D stuff. But basically, across the top and the bottom, you've got a bunch of games that are installed, all of them that are in that list. And then on the right-hand side, you've got Mumble for your audio uh, audio speaking. You have to have a Mumble server to connect to. Uh, actually, for the gaming stuff that I've done with uh, with the chat room that I, that I run, we used Mumble for a while. We use TeamSpeak now, though. Uh, Aurora is a web browser, XChat IRC client. Uh, also makes sure so you can configure your sound. Wicked to get your network settings and Xterm in case you want to do stuff at the terminal. Okay, so how about we take a game for a quick test drive just to show you how it works, even in a virtual box. It doesn't perform terribly well just because it is running, like I said, in virtual. It doesn't have all of the, the graphics drivers it needs. Now, one thing you'll want to make sure that you do is disable mouse integration. There are some games that it just won't work with. But if you're running it lo live on the actual DVD and not in a virtual machine, this will work very nicely for you. And actually, this game runs better than any other one that I've tried so far, so uh, very pleased with that. So here's Pingus. This is actually the first time I've ever played Pingus, sad to say. So, yep, learning to dig. Let's just see how it works. Yep, there's a uh, penguin. And he's going to start digging. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here, honestly, but the performance is very, very, very nice. Better than I ever expected. So, just thought I would give you a quick look at that. Learning to dig failure. And uh, just like that, very, very quickly, we're back at the main console here. You've got Frozen Bubble, Foo Billard, uh, all of these different games that you can play at your leisure. Uh, download it, give it a try. It's a fairly decent sized DVD. You see here it's actually 4.4 gigabytes in size, but that's for the big edition that has everything on it. There's some funny little issues with graphics if you're on a smaller screen. Uh, this is running probably at about 800 by 600, maybe a little bit less than that. If I just reload the panels though, it takes care of all of that for me. Not a big deal. Uh, and you've got a load of games there at your disposal with very little else to do other than just downloading it and burning it to a disc or possibly even putting it on a USB stick. Haven't tried that yet. But yeah, download it, give it a try, take it to your next LAN party, and uh, burn 10 copies and let, your, let everybody you're playing with have fun with it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.